these grapes, even this bowl at one point was filled with grapes. And hopefully I fill it up to there, a whole liter. And then the way I do the measuring is for every liter that you see here, I'm gonna put like a cup of sugar. And then this is just homemade wine. Okay. So, these are all the grapes. After they were in this container, this container, and this at one point, but we have toddlers in the house. And they took a bite out of every single half apple that I have so I'm probably just gonna throw that in the gallon bag in my freezer to make apple cider vinegar and that's another video um but anyways these are the grapes that I got from a dumpster clean them off you know the kids have been eating them but I mean they can't eat enough fast enough because obviously they're from a dumpster and for good reason because they're probably going bad so Barely a third of these are going bad, as you can see, like are getting squishy and whatnot. Um, it looks like they're filled up to the three um, liter mark. And the way I'm gonna do the math with that is just put a cup of sugar for every liter that is in here. So it's gonna be very sweet. These grapes are pretty darn sweet. Enough as is. Juniper, get out of the water. Um, and so I'm going to try not to add any water because every time I seem to add water, it dilutes the wine mixture and just, you know, it's not some potent, it's not as potent and, um, sometimes makes us a little sick. So let me get this going, start boiling this down and add sugar. Okay. Now that it's been boiling and it's ready to just go in this pot, I'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit before I put um, the yeast in it. So you can see all this liquid. This is a three gallon um, container, by the way. So this looks like it's gonna make about a gallon. And um, I only put three cups of sugar and three cups of water in this mixture. So this should be pretty strong. The way I do it, hopefully if you make any type of batch of some kind of homemade um, hooch, wine, whatever, um, if you have enough fruit and it can fill up, something like that, you probably don't need to add water at all because water is what's going to dilute it and uh, make it not so thick and potent. And um, my recipe goes a cup of sugar for every liter or pound of fruit. Do it that way, either way. And I also do... Um, a fourth, a fourth teaspoon of um, yeast for every cup of sugar that I've poured in there. And I will come back to that in just a minute. Okay, now that it's been cooling for like an hour, like I said before, it's a fourth teaspoon. And this is just simple bread machine yeast. You're not gonna see it get all frothy. Um, and since this is three liters, and three cups of sugar. I'm gonna do one, two, and three. And give it a good stir. Can't put the yeast in when it's too hot because um, if it's boiling hot, it's just going to kill the yeast, but a little warm is pretty good. And I'm gonna let that cool down a bit more before I put plastic wrap on it, because if it's too hot, I've done this before, if it's too hot, it just tends to just suck in. Okay, 
and now that it's cooled down enough, it's got the sugar, it's got the yeast, it's got the fruit, it's been boiled. Everything is fine and dandy. I put some plastic wrap on it and rubber bands to hold it on tight. Um, I'm gonna film again in the morning and you're gonna see this blow up as a bubble. Tune in until then. It's the following morning and as you can see, it's okay. How it's getting very frothy and this is filling up with air. See how it's rising? It should get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then once it gets big, and then it goes down. When it goes down, that's when you know your homemade wine is ready. And you have to get like a nylon bag or a, a very good strainer to squeeze out all of the, you know, juices into something separate, like a mason jar or whatnot have you and drink and it'll be fine.